I'll make sure you're ready, whatever the weather brings. Cairo 7 Pinpoint Weather. Right now on Cairo 7 News. Wildfires in Washington are growing and evacuation orders are expanding tonight. The latest on the efforts to get people to safety. But first, the search is on for those responsible after a deadly shooting this morning in South Seattle. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Sloss. The shooting happened just before 430 near 25th Avenue South and South College Street in Seattle's Central District neighborhood. Cairo 7's Bridget Chavez joins us live from SPD's South Precinct. And Bridget, no arrest made yet. No, Jason, the people or person responsible for this still have not been caught, but one neighbor we spoke with did say that it was the gunfire early this morning that woke him up. This is the video from this. In Granite Falls, I'm Louis Tran, Cairo 7 News. Still ahead, so-called phantom hackers are targeting people in Snohomish County, who authorities say they're after and how you can avoid becoming a victim. Plus, buying a dog or cat in someone's backyard is now banned in parts of western Washington. The new law and potential fines that just went into effect. Live, local, in-depth, Cairo 7 News. Right now on Cairo 7 News. The city of Edmonds just dealt a big blow to backyard animal breeders. The city council passed an ordinance last week banning people from selling cats and dogs in the city. And it turns out it's not the only area to do something like this. Cairo 7's Bridget Chavez discovered part of the reason for that is because of overcrowding in shelters. Still ahead, all new at 5, remembering 13-year-old Jada, who was shot and killed at Alderwood Mall earlier this month. We're taking you to the scene of a memorial and the latest on the suspect now behind bars.